Okay, okay, okay. With this being said, um, I guess we can start the video. Uh, what's good, YouTube? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Uh, today, uh, I guess I can help y'all get better at the game by making this video. Uh, this video is gonna be about how to be better as a big man, and I'm about to go y'all step by step, like how I think. You Basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this quick and short and simple. So here's what's gonna happen. First, I'm gonna tell y'all how to make a good big man build. That is one. Two, I will tell y'all the best badges that a big man should have as of now. As of now. That is second. I'm gonna explain to you what stats you should probably upgrade first or what stats you should have for your build. I'm gonna explain all that in this build creator. Then I'm gonna explain how to play good defense. Then I'm gonna go over how to be a good offensive big man. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to your channel. Make sure you uh, uh, like the video, subscribe, and whatnot, whatnot. Uh, I'll try to make this video as short as possible. Unlucky though, that this video might be about like 20 30 minutes long, so just just bear that in mind when you watch this. But yeah, let's learn how to be a comp big, big man academy. Let's go. First, we're gonna get started with, with uh, yeah, basically this. Hmm. Now for a big man in my notepad, I made the best heights and I made the best heights and weights you should be as a big man for offense. You got 71, 230. That's for offense. If you, okay, basically here's what it is. I'm going to make a color code. So whatever color the text is, that's how good people use it. I'll, the screen should explain all of it right now. It should explain all of it. But basically, you for uh, centers height and weight. If you want to be a more offensive dominant big, you should go, you should go whichever one has red or green on it, which red or green. White is cool too, but just know people really don't use white like that. Like I recommend it, but at the same time, I won't recommend it because if you want to be a calm big, using the one that has white on it just isn't a good build in general, man. But yeah, you got 71, 230, 7 foot 225, 71, 220, 71, 225, uh, 71, 210, 611, 220. Uh, that is for offense. If you're gonna be a more offensive dominant big with defense, here's this defense ones. You got 70, 70, 225, 70, 230, 71, 225, 71, 220, 611, 230. Uh, for offense, as y'all get saw earlier. It's cool to make a PF. It's cool to make a PF. It's cool to make one. <laughs> it's that I wouldn't recommend running a PF at the five. It doesn't have true big man qualities. So with that being said, uh, here's the most famous big man builder, 71225. So let's get started with the builds. Now, as a big man, you you need to learn like what is the best stats I can have that can still contribute to a team? So with that being said, it's always important to max out your, how fast you are. So max out speed, acceleration, speed with ball. Always max those out. Your speed, everything speed related needs to be maxed out. If you have 25 speed with ball, you are a sloth. You will not be able to score. Max it out. 60 speed is good. Even though this is S59, you move like a 60 speed ball with play. So I'm gonna just say 60. All you need is 60 speed with ball. You were big. You shouldn't have over 80 speed with ball. That's unrealistic. So don't expect high speed with ball. Upgrade your speed with ball so you can score easier. You can score easier with that. That being said, if you're a big man, you always need some you always need to max out strength. If you're making a big man build, just know this. If you're a big man, if you're a big man build, your most important stat is always your strength. When you're making a big man build, always try to have your strength over 90. So let's go back. Let's say I'm go 71, and you can see how 71 220 has 90 strength. But if you go less than that, you got 87. If you got 87 strength, you are a baby to most bigs. You will get abused. It's risky going this. It's risky going this way. But I told you I, I could make 71210. I said this late because of late, late because of Hall of Fame contact. You're basically unguardable. So you can go like 85 vertical while you're at it too. 
Hall of Fame contact. So, that's the only reason I would recommend a 712-210 build. Other than that, you're better off making a build with 90 strength. That being said, we're going to max out speed acceleration again. We'll max out strength. Then you're going to max out speed ball. All those stats need to be max. At most max. Always maxed out. Now. Like I said, you don't have to copy my build. Just go off what I'm saying. I'm teaching you how to make a good Bateman build, so that's all you need to do. For Stam, you need Stam too. The best Stam to have as a big man is 85. 85 Stam always. That's the best. The best. You're done with your physicals. You're done with your playmaking, sort of. Well, let's go over passing. For passing 50 is the bare minimum you need to have. If, uh, most of my bigs, as I can tell, always has over 70 passing. 70 is fast. It gives you silver diamond. 60 passing gives you hive mind. Now, team takeover badge. I mean, yeah, team takeover thing. So, most bigs, I would recommend you use 50 if you don't want hive mind. You might as well just go 50. <laughs> With that being said, your playmaking physicals are done. Now, you gotta think, what do I want this big to do? You wanna be able to shoot? You wanna be an inside big? What do you wanna do? So, let's say if you wanna shoot the ball. Make your mid-range 70, make a 3.70. That is good. If you make it any higher than 70, that free throw will happen. So don't do that. Make it 70 so far. That being said, we're going to work on your defense because bigs always need defense. You don't really need to have high defensive stats because you gotta balance out your shooting. You also need finishing. You also need defending. So balance it out. So you can like Keep upgrading to like Silver Intimidate is good actually. If you don't want to be, if you want to be more offensive minded, just go 72. You can go 65 perimeter. You can go 90 block. If you're a big man, your defense stat is always your block. That is your best stat to have. So always go high block. 90 or 80 is good. And for your rebound, you can make your rebound. If you would just try to always match the requirement, like you don't gotta fully max it out. So right now, if I go 91 rebound, I can go rebound. I might as well go 72 for Hall of Fame rebound, but don't go 93. 93 just isn't worth it. You can use that badge point for something else. So right now my build's my build is fine. Look how good my like the build is fine. 72 interior is good enough. I can contest people. That being said, uh, driving layup is always good to have at least 80 layup. 80 layup is good. You want post control? Okay, go ahead, give you post control. People said 90 post control is the best, so just give you some 90. Then, right now, I will borrow your points to close shots. Then, I will do the free throw glitch. How you do the free throw is you minus one, so minus one from close shot. Good three point. And just keep doing that. So simple. Now, when you do this, I recommend making both stats 80. I do not see a reason to max out both of them. There's just no point to doing that. Look at that, man. Please look at that. That's a beautiful build. You could either take out, if you don't like doing floaters, you can take all this out. You can put it into what? Dunk? Well, you also need other go for dunk, so I don't know about that. You'll probably put it into like 
passing. Like, if you want to hide my bullet to like 60 passing, and upgrade this to 72. 62 is low. I won't even lie to you. That's not worth it. So I would go that. 72. Go to your drop gun. Look how easy that was, man. This build is good. Look how easy that was. That being said, we will go to the next. The best takeovers to have is post bully, baseline. Uh, baseline is good if you are a standing dunk user. You like doing dunks or floaters. That is what baseline is good for. I found a method for my two ways. So these these are both worth the definition takeovers. The best shooting ones are Lone Ranger and Spotlight. Most most people will use Lone Ranger, so I would recommend Lone Ranger. You good. Your three point shooter will go up and your speed bar will go up. So it makes it hard to guard you. You also got Boundless. Boundless is one of the best takeovers in the game, in my opinion, top five. You can go perimeter enforcer. I don't see a reason for this, so I would go baseline if I was you. Baseline is the most popular for bigs. Then the best team takeovers in this. If I had every team to take over that I could have, I would go hive mine. You can go heat press. You can go rolling deep, or you can go in circle. But if you're able to get hive mine, I would recommend you get hive mine. I mean, say you click next, and you got your build a three level score. Not a bad build. It's not bad, man. But. That is basically how you create a big man build. If you want, if you want to make an inside big man build, then all you really gotta do is just make sure you always have close shot. If you make an inside big man build, you gotta have close shot. Well, you gotta have post control. Web, whichever one, you, so you can space the floor. You can even go 70 passing. You got stats to spare. You can go 90 layups, so you won't be able to miss any layups. You can make your interior more higher. 92. You got way more, more options when you go inside big and build. You can upgrade vertical so you can get pro touch. You get super pro touch. Let's say if I take out my layup, make it go back to 80. Let's say I make my vertical go up by. Uh, Okay, so three more, and I get all the free protests. So, best thing to take out would be post control, if anything, right now. Or well, you can take out this. Then you got pro touch, all of pro touch. 79. Then what did I take out for that? Hmm, I forgot what I took out. Passing, I think. Look at that. Not a bad inside bag, man, right? Not a bad build. Then in this case, you can go post bully this time. You can go hive mine. Boost your acceleration passing. And it's a glass clean lockdown. This build. I want y'all to look at that again. This build is a glass cleaning lockdown. You see how OP that shit is? You see how OP this build is? I'm telling you. Y'all have so many options to make a good baby build. But with that being said, I taught y'all how to make a good baby build. It all like you for a guard is different. A guard, you can be a demigod or whatever. For base, you gotta be very specific what you want. You gotta sacrifice something. You got to. Most so my builds most of the time I sacrifice shooting, cause my shooting is my close shot. So I don't see a reason to have shooting and close shot on the same build when you just shoot shoot the ball. That being said, I hope I hope uh, this gave you a bit of understanding how to make a build. Uh, remember. Always max out speed, acceleration, and strength, and speed with ball. And make your, make, always try to make your stamina at 85. Uh, when you go 7 1, 220, you will, this is probably the only big man build capable of getting 90 stem. If you can get 90 stem, get it, man. Because when you get that, get all of him tireless. You know how OP that is? <coughs> 
been good. How's it been, Tyler? You straight. Uh, another Bayman build that I forgot to mention is the Power Forward. 611, 220. This build ain't bad either. It's the. It's like when you go, but when you go against two thirties, then you are sort of a liability. Cause if the two thirty knows how to use their build, they can abuse uh, this build all game. Basically, like if I wanted to make this build ever, if I ever wanted to make this build, I'll go the normal stats, max out strength, max out speed of acceleration, max out speed with ball. Make a driving layup 80, so you can always make wide open shots. Uh, let's say if I want this big build to be a shooting build, so... Just watch how I do, man. You can go clamps, you can make a rebound. Make a block 80 this time. Try not to give yourself high of a rebound. You're a PF. Like, you got better stats you can use this for. Make your interior 72. Mm. Or you can make it 90. Since your mirrors can go to 85 on this, max it to 85, but make it 3.80. When your stat is 85 or shooting, that means you can fade. So if I make it 85, you can fade mirror ranges. That is OP, right? That's OP. Let's see what happens if I max it to 83 this time. Do I get more badges? No, I do not. There's no point, so let's make it 80. Then you can take out post control, make it 25. Put this at 90. Make a passing at 60. Put the other points into like, um, I don't know. I guess make it passing 65. Put the last point into something meaningful. So, interior. And look, you see how easy that is? This is a good big. It's a good build. Like I said, it is not hard to make a good big man build, bruh. Not hard. Just gotta think, man. You can use perimeter enforcer this time. Then you can use hive mind. Then what you got? You got the two-way stretch glass cleaner. Like, I just gotta think when y'all make your builds. What do you want? How do you want to be able to play? So on, so on. Once y'all get the hang of that, y'all look good. But with this being said, like I said, we're gonna get so on with the badges next. Enjoy the gameplay in the background, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have the gameplay in the background, uh, showing y'all what to do and not. So, let's get started with the finishing badges. Okay, okay, before I get started with this, just know I have family over, so I'm gonna scoot up close to my mic like this, and I'm gonna try to over talk my family. That's all I like. Okay, okay, let's get started. So, here is the finishing badges for the ones that's highlighted that you can clearly see. Those are the badges that you will want, that you will want, the ones that are highlighted, that you can physically see. If they were not highlighted, 
did not get the badge in his ass. He got teardrop, a contact finisher, velocity finisher, pro touch, relentless finisher, and acrobat. Now, a teardropper. Teardropper is good. Or oh, teardropper is the best out of fame. I'm not saying I'm not saying silver or gold ain't good. They are good, but Hall of Fame is the best. You will not miss a single shot or single floater wide open with Tear Drop. No matter if you miss time or not. Miss time it is uh late release it is cash money. So yes, Hall of Fame is the best. It goes in every time. Now contact finisher is the best at gold. You could say silver is good, but silver to me is just not good compared to gold. Gold contact finisher, you you're scoring every time. Literally, you're scoring every time. Like there's no debate. So if you go gold contact finisher, you are unstoppable. Live city, you only need that silver. You can get a gold, you can get all the fame wherever you want. Silver is just the best. Lobs, as in itself, is glitchy, buggy. So I really, would, I really wouldn't recommend somebody to do lobs. But if you want to keep, if you want to spam lobs, be my guest. Go silver. Silver is the best. You can even go bronze. A pro touch. Pro touch is the best at silver. I mean, it's not the best at silver. Pro touch. All you really need to get it at is silver. I personally have Hall of Fame pro touch. I make every every I make everything. I make everything. If you go if you go pro touch, you can get a silver. If you want to be toxic and be good at the game with just making go to Hall of Fame. If silver's the best, all you really need is to get it to silver and you're straight, man. Then you got relentless finisher. All you needed to do is get it to bronze or silver. One of the each. If you have Hall of Fame relentless finisher, there is something wrong with you mentally. You need help because why are you so tired? Well, you need Hall of Fame relentless finisher. You are a big. You are not sprinting your constantly get fucking bronze or silver and you'll get at the game well that's acrobat all you need for acrobat is bronze acrobat is literally just lay up the ball make sure you make it it's least it's self-explanatory all you need is bronze bro if you have like a 70 layup i guess you can use silver acrobat but acrobat really ain't that important compared to other bats so get a bronze man okay now we have shooting badges man as you can see on this build it doesn't have a sport of shooting because why well, there's no need for it man i'm unstoppable for just finishing now with this being said let's get started with this uh before i even talk about this yes i had shooting bills before it i know what i'm talking about that can be not the way uh, for big shooting badges as like you said like i said in the finishing the ones that I highlight that you can visually see are the ones of the badges that is the most important. You can have either of these, doesn't matter. And those badges are range extender, quick draw, slingshot, catch and shoot, deep phase, fearless shooter. You can have all of these badges. The other three badges are not important. But this being said, let's start with range extender. Every big needs silver range extender. Do not get bronze. Silver range extender is the best. Get it. You can shoot, shoot uh, pretty decently. You can shoot, you can off do it from the logo with silver range. Shit, so get, get range extender, man. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, quick draw. Normally, I hold the bigs most of the time use silver quick draw. Silver's good, but they, they buff go quick draw. Go quick draw is literally so so good bruh if you're not using gold quick draws and big i don't know what's wrong with you use it is lee is lee on par with hall of fame quick draw i'm not lying slingshot keep mostly i hope people say bronze slingshot is good enough uh but most league players would say silver quick slingshot is one of the best badges so you slingshot it's, it's a good badge man you got catch and shoot uh catch and shoot is good i haven't really heard base use catch and shoot more than often i guess it doesn't get your boy i don't know how much i don't really use space for shooting i deleted my 99 big with shoot shooting on it so i don't know but i hope catch shoot was good that's why i am putting it here uh you can use bronze silver or gold whichever up to you i don't know much about the shooting aspect of the game so i don't know if catch shoot is broken or not but if it's not you should use it man deep phase deep phase is the best post scoring bash in the game Use that if you are a post score. You will make most shots with gold deep fade. Gold deep phase is literally a bailout. It's deep phase is literally like the equivalent of pro touch. It's like deep phase is literally the shooting or the shooting or of pro touch. Pro touch the finishing bailout. 
with the faces the shooting bell out for post scores. Then, lastly, you got Fearless Shooter, of course. The gates contest, you can shoot over 27% contest. Get Fearless Shooter, man, it is worth it. Uh, it'll make your bag immensely good. So, yeah, get it, man. Now on to the playmaking badges. I have to make sure my mic was on. But for playmaking, there's only three badges. I mean, I guess if you make a short, big man, skinny, and he can do dribble moves, it's obviously this will look different. But the three badges to have, if you make one of my, if you make a 90 straight big man of, de of doom, right, it'll be diamond, bill out, and post play. Just three badges. All the other ones is good if you have ball hand on your big, but I see no reason for ball hand on a big man. That's up to you. That being the case, diamond should be silver, bill out bronze, post play maker silver. Bill out is actually bronze. It's really good, actually. Like, I, I never miss a pass without that shit like i i do a floater a big will probably be in front of me i pass that shit out to my friend like seiko she's at half court line i'm all the way to paint i pass it out to her on the bell out and it connects every time i tell you that shit it's op it's op diamond self-explanatory explanatory post playmakers i never use post playmaker but my paint be skits for post playmaker so once i have it in the future i guess i can let y'all know if post playmaker is worth doing or not right now it is man i don't know what else points you so get these badges man you've said next we have the defense badges like i said highlighted ones matters the most so brick wall claims Three down chaser, Tyler's defender, and bull. Forgot to put clamps. Wait, no. I forgot to circle clamps. I'll explain what's the best clamps. Intimidator is really overrated. So you don't need Intimidator. Bad sucks. If you can still contest shots in the mid range with interior wise, Intimidator would be a top three bash in the game. But you can't no more. You can only contest layups. If anything, only layups. The bad sucks, bro. Give it up. The bad sucks. You could contest dunks with it, but what you need that for, my nigga, you got blocked. You got 80 interior. You only contest layups and dunks. No point of going intimidator. So with that being said, you got brick wall, man. Brick wall is the best at Hall of Fame. Since broke uh get brick wall silver and gold if you famous morphed it at all times to this world. clamps now. Clamps you can only get bronze clamps. You gotta be a PF. So you're the 611 220 build that I recommended y'all earlier in the video. Uh that's how you can get clamps. Go set so PF. I mean PS can get that big wide. So go that you rebound chase silver is enough i use silver in league so it's uh but most people will use gold most people use hall of fame hall of fame is the best obviously you you be flying like shit's bro a uh, silver and gold is fine too is that uh tireless defender hmm tireless defender tireless defender. tireless defender is good on silver but i would recommend you use gold, gold is the best Tyler's defense is the top five badge in the game. You need the you need Tyler's to save you on bullet cages. So get Tyler's defense, you should be straight. Then you got Bullhorn. Bullhorn is the best at silver. All you need is silver. When I hit lesson three, my team's go Bullhorn to silver. So yeah, I'm gonna be OP, man. That being said, that's all for defense badges. Thank you. So badges is done, over with. And after this, I'm gonna see what else I should I can explain to y'all. Before this, uh, I'm going to be only wanting some people to show y'all how to play the game again. But I'm not going to use Hall of Fame Bull because people just don't use that. I mean, big size you don't use that bad. I mean, hold on. I personally always use Silver Bull. So I'll keep on uh, League always use Hall of Fame Bull. This is my badge, man. So with this being said, I'm going to store some of you want to show you how to play some defense, offense, or also have my Xbox controller on the bottom right, so it helps y'all. I'll try to go over this the best I can without my mic sounding like ass. So, bear with me here. But, let's really, uh, let's really look at that. Uh, I play bad defense there. That off dribble we did was open. So, if I would've got there in time, there would've been a block. Or, I, his off dribble would've got contested because he got 50 perimeter. So... At the same time, that was good offense from him, so that's a good thing, I guess.
but out of bounds. Team two ball. Some of you are probably wondering, how did I just get that layup off? Well, if you rewind the video, you can clearly see that he's playing up my floater way too much, so I decided to drive into the paint. Uh, try to, when you drive to the paint, try to avoid somebody pushing you back. Uh, that helps. It makes scoring the paint much easier. If you avoid the pushback, you can get open lips just like this. So, can you do that, man? Uh, yeah, if he would have played more down on me, I would have done a floater. So he was more way of my thing, he was my layup. So I took advantage of it. I decided to just do a random floater here because he probably wouldn't expect it. And of course, he didn't expect in the time, which made me get a wide open float off. Uh, I don't have to time it. I got all of him pro touch. So you saw pro touch set up and it went in automatic. So he like last play, he was punished for it. He played down too much, did a float then, went in. Team one ball. Also, when dr someone's driving the paint, it's a good thing to be on the side of them to get that easy block off when they do a layup. Most bigs, if you're watching this video, you should all try to utilize that off dribble bag uh, for offense. If you have shooting on your big, which is 90% bigs in this game, you can off dribble. A lot of you take standing shots. I'm telling you this right now, off dribble three is one of the most lethal things for a big. You can ISO any other bigs with an off dribble. You don't gotta fade. You don't gotta do all that extra shit. Just do an off dribble. You will be open 90% of the time. Utilize the off super bag if you can. Out of bounds, team one ball. That was that was a good example of good defense. So let's rewatch that back. As you can see right now, I'm trying my best to stay in front of his face, even if it means playing up a little bit too much. Uh, I'm trying to get those pushbacks off to make my life easier when uh, pushing them back. So utilize that pushback, man. It helps you on defense. Uh, always try to stay in their face. If they're going left, you got to like, react with reaction time. If you think they're going left, go left with them. You think they're about to go right, go right with them. Always try to stay in their face. Utilize your block. If you think they're about to do a three pre-jump, get that block. If you think they're about to do a layup, get, do that. Like. Try to block the layup. You gotta utilize all your stats to the best of your ability and use your badges to the best of your ability. Out of bounds. Team one ball.
out of bounds. Team one ball. I got cried. There was a little. There was little I could do about that. So. Now my takeover is active. My takeover is based on an operator, and now I have my own team takeover. Uh, based on operator, uh, bust my driving layup, standing dunk, and close shot, so I can make 20% contestants now, which is what I'm about to start doing. This probably won't be the last time you hear my voice because this video is getting too long, so just with the 1v1 gameplay, loan from it, you can look at the bottom right of my controller and see what I'm doing. Uh, yes, I use controller. I don't use keyboards. So if you're a controller player, maybe look at my controller with help on the play or whatever. So enjoy the rest of the video. And yeah. Team one. Out of bounds. Team one ball. Just know I spam those buttons because box out is broken. So when you spam your left trigger, it makes the other person like in the box out animation. So technically I'm pushing them out the way. That's why I always spam that. I want to try to push them out the push them out the way. That is yeah, that's cheesy, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it till they fix it, so uh yeah.
of bounds. Team one ball. That's the end of the game. Shake each other's hands and say good game. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if y'all need a part two of Bateman Academy or Joveless, whatever, uh, I don't make a part two. I don't care. Um, I will teach you how to, what's the best animation set, set etc., etc. Um, this video is just teaching you how to do the basic fundamentals. I can't help you make an offensive bag. That is up to you. Like I said, what I do is not is not so common to do. No like uh no ego check or anything, but I like right now I'll say I'm a top five I'm a top five slash in the game. So it's not easy to do what I do. I make I just make it look easy. So with that being said, I do, do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh sorry for making recent hour long video. I know this video is like fully I'm just trying to do what do what do Basically, I'm just trying to help y'all and make us out. Y'all, yeah, some of y'all want to be helped out, so I'm gonna help you out. So overall, if you guys enjoy the video, there will be time steps in the description to make shit easy to find. So I hope you guys enjoy, man. That being said, peace out. Enjoy your day. Subscribe to the channel and peace.